The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. When was the last time you had really good Texas-style barbecue? Eric's Family Barbecue, the way it's supposed to taste. Always delicious, never rushed, and prepared to perfection. Eric's Family Barbecue uses only 100% fresh meat, slowly smoked over mesquite wood until it's juicy and delicious. We all know their brisket is the best, but have you tried their pulled pork, pork ribs, or rib tips? Amazing, and their sides are all house-made. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Sorry. Go to ericsfamilybbq.com for more information. Holmberg's morning sickness. You've been deceived by an agent of Satan himself. He's evil. Sitting right here. Come on. No, no, he's not. He's not evil. He's just a bit rude. Glorious. Uh, here we go again. It's uh, flying through 847 on a Wednesday morning, just cruising and doing everything we can to uh, make sure that you're happy throughout that. Uh, I've got uh, emails, though, that I like that this one said. Man, I just found out I was at that Slipknot show last night. I was standing next to Alec Balls when he threw a prop Molotov cocktail. Man, this guy can't catch a break. <laughs> Told him to stay home. I have a prop Molotov cocktail. Balls with metal, bro. Watch this, Lemon. I love Slipknot. Uh, and then for you, uh, Brett, for your vasectomy talk earlier, uh-huh. Scott Haynes, our funniest listener, says... Brett, the surgery's nothing. It takes like 15 minutes. However, being Italian, I think shaving you is going to be an extra copay. I think they're going to double up <laughs> on the uh, on grooming the, fee. On the grooming fee that would ensue with the uh, surgeries. Yeah, there's oh, man, great. it's got to take a look at this. We need a team of surgeons to just pull that off. Uh, Brady handed me something that's interesting just in the headline. There's something now called the gold penis syndrome. I don't have it. What is that? You don't. It's I, happening you know, at universities. It's happening in colleges. And I can't believe this study. This is unbelievable information. Breaking news, Brady, on this golden penis syndrome. Where do you get a load of the way people are behaving? It's all new. Uh, it's ruining dating for university women, the golden penis syndrome. There's a deficit of male students in college. So the ratio in almost all colleges is like heavy women to men, 60-40 in a lot of cases. So the women are uh, outnumbering the men so much that the men are having an easier time nailing these chicks in college. <laughs> and it's developing into like they're starting to get like uh, kind of full of themselves. As, they're you know, Casanovas. They're well fed. So they're thinking to themselves, man, I really know how to go after the ladies. This is fish in a barrel, fish in a barrel. It's causing them to, and I can't believe I'm saying this about college men, have lots of sex, multiple women, and it's <laughs> just, I, I, the study is... I, I, That's unheard bleh, of. Bleh. Have you ever, Brady, have you ever heard such a thing? That no. College men, when given chance, will have sex all the time out of, college? Out, of a, a monogamous rela- bleh, bleh, out of a monogamous relationship. How is this possible? We were just looking to, we wanted to talk. We just wanted right. to have a beer, coffee, right. and just talk. But it's turning out that that's so easy, and somehow it's the men's fault that these women are throwing their vaginas around like crazy because there's not enough of us, that the guys are killing it and taking full advantage. Men, I've never heard of such a thing. When did men start acting like this? With egos. With their arrogance and their penises, having sex with... Oh, I can't even think of it. With multiple women. In college... I didn't know the ratio of uh, the women to uh, men in I, I just remember all friends, like all of your friends, Brady, and I'm sure yeah. all of yours, when we were 18, ran right over to Shane Company to get that engagement ring in case today was the day that we finally found that little lady to marry. We weren't interested in any sort of... Uh, That's all we were doing in, in my fraternity of house. Of course Brian and I, was. We were just looking to pin a woman. All I want to do, Brady... Well, that's what, with an actual pin. Yes. Not, not uh, pin her down. Pin her down and, and, and do things to her. <laughs> Brady, I tell you what, when we were in, the, when we were in our frat, I remember when it, when it, nestling up with a little lady every night, thinking of only her, controlling my libido. The lovely Mindu captured his heart. She grabbed hold of me. And I was loyal because that's what 21-year-old men are. If anything, they are loyal. Undeterred by strange vagina. There's a deep drive by Castellanos. (laughs) My God, this study took six years. (laughs) 
What's with these college boys? They're changing the whole order of things. Turns out they're also coming out of this with poor social skills. They're and, dumb. Uh, and their sex skills because they don't need to try real hard. <laughs> How is this on men? Isn't this more whores are in college than ever before? Isn't that the headline? Sluts making it too easy for dudes. They've stopped trying. 50% of all higher education uh, students are female. Uh, in the United States, it's 59.5% of all major colleges. 60-40. Uh, and it's also starting to continue in the workplace. Now, more women with college and university degrees than men. Because somebody's got to pay for these babies. we got to go to work while you're at school. Right, but here's the lesson. Boys, if you can make the cut, get into these universities, it's easy. and get your education, fish in a barrel. Fish in a barrel. Uh, the lead therapist on this is a woman named Sharice Cook. She told the article writers at the main female... F E M A I L. They spelled it wrong. Re- leave it to women or spell it wrong. <laughs> golden penis, she says, golden penis syndrome speaks to the delusional belief that you're unusually and uniquely gifted as a man, sexually and otherwise, and are above established norms of good manners, respect, and dating etiquette. It results in overly grandiose behavior of self reverence and inflated sense of power over the opposite sex. Women can be baffled by these men. Didn't you just say they're too stupid? But intrigued and lured in, uh, to the man's self-belief and seeming promise. However, the women are left disappointed and furious when dis- discarded after cursory or non-existent date experiences, underwhelming sexual performances. Often the single member of the group, after a period of time, their reputation becomes a mixture of Peter Pan uh, to pitied and accidental Casanova. This has nothing to do with the girls, just... Really Get vetting now. the guy they're banging and then finding out later I wasn't very good at it and evidently he's doing it with a lot of people. You're kind of being a whore. Well, now the ladies are saying it's time for a profile change on your dating site. I'm a yeah. guy. I'm uh, really boring. I have no confidence. Right. That's what they're after. You, you put that in there. That's what chicks love. Boring, no confidence, can't score with the ladies. And uh, watch, and the, women, watch the women flock to him. Yeah, and spell it all wrong. Dumb. Man, am I dumb. Because that's what they're looking for. Just found out as I was typing that, there's a B in dumb. That's how dumb I am. <laughs> also, I don't think I'll get a yeah. job after college. Not a lot of confidence. W- wouldn't be what you'd call a go-getter. Probably won't We don't graduate. want those yeah. guys. These golden penis accidental Casanovas are the ones that are getting all the ass. <laughs> and the women are mad about it. Stop being so good at fooling us into bed, you jerks. You dumb people. That is, the whole article is, these boys are so stupid they have no social skills. And they're fooling the women with it. But we're falling for it. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's something the WNBA would say. <laughs> Why? These dumb, uncultured, terrible at sex men are luring us right into the bedroom. How? I'm so mad at them. Oh, these morons with an IQ of about five have us completely bamboozled. <laughs> That's the 12th time this week. I keep sleeping with idiots. Where are they coming from? This is an actual article of women complaining that these guys that they're sleeping with are so dumb. I wrote a book. That they hypnotized them. I was was hypnotized by his stupidity. Right into the bedroom. But they continue to do it. Turns out he's doing it with a bunch of women. He's This idiot who can barely tie his shoes is hypnotizing women at an unreasonable rate. And it's his fault we're falling for. Please stop being so... Why do I want him more? You accidental Casanova, you. (laughs) This might be the... Ladies, you need to have a meeting because this might be the dumbest you guys have ever sounded. Seriously. This is as bad as uh, when you guys said you wanted to start working. I mean, it was a dumb (laughs) idea. Look at you now, right? Terrible idea. We let you do it. As bad as when men used to scream, no woman of mine's going to work. What were we thinking? Well, that's pretty hilarious, though. So if you're an idiot and you're scoring with multiple ladies, first off, where'd you come from, college boy, with these new fangled ideas? I watched Animal House. The whole thing was about finding that special woman and uh, keeping a low-key kind of uh, persona throughout college. No parties, no silly, crazy fun. You sat around in a beige chair in a beige room, and you watched beige shows. You waited for nothing to happen, and then when when it did, you were pleased. Accidental Casanova, you. (laughs) 
Well, he fell right. That is the dumbest article I've ever read. But it's called Golden Penis Syndrome. Read about it. Yeah, tr- look it up and find out how stupid this study is. There's so many of us and so little of them that we started sleeping with the dumb ones. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing it way too much. It's getting crazy. They it's don't metal, know bro. It's, it's metal. It is completely metal. <laughs> what are you complaining about, dude? It's metal, bro. Babe. Pretty great. Nice job. Way to go, accidental Casanovas. I didn't even, I never fell into that. I wasn't ever an accidental Casanova, but I know about four guys that were. There was a dude at Tony Roma's named Chad that said to me, You know what I'm going to do? I'm like, I don't know. Next time I have sex with a chick, I think I'm just going to put it where I want. I'm like, how are you going to do that? I don't know. I'll trick her. <laughs> and then like, the next day, he had a story about one of the waitresses there. And she was all upset because Chad did exactly that. And they dated. Like, she was really upset by it. Like, he did stuff. And I was like, I guess I didn't want to, but I did it. And who's going out with her Friday night? Chad and this girl who didn't like what Chad does. And Chad was just so charming and so stupid at the same time. Promise not to trick me tonight. Will you promise not to trick me and try to have sex with me? Baby, I promise exactly that. Okay, good. The college boys don't lie. Ow, what are you doing? Ow. I'm having sex with you, aren't I? Jesus, how did he do it? He's so stupid. You're the one laying under a dumb guy. Maybe point the mirror at yourself. wonder how many accidental ca- Casanovas were throwing chairs into that bonfire <laughs> yeah, last night. Not, not many. <laughs> not many. The IQ's the same, but these guys are using it different. Uh, tomorrow is the last day of the collections for KUP deployment. Uh, Mark will go out in the van. we got to load this thing up. Uh, go online right now uh, at 98kupd.com and go to KUP deployment. The cool thing about this, uh, we don't have as many Arizona troops overseas as normal. That's a good thing. But we still have a bunch. So we only need like 500 people. So we can fill this up pretty good. We're still short on a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, stuff from like bathroom supplies, uh, toothpaste, uh, dentistry stuff like that. Lip balm's always great. Hard candy is something that they're begging for. Like we got that one the other day. So if you want to go online and do uh, the wish list on Amazon, that would be awesome. And uh, also if you want to drop off tomorrow morning, Mark's going to have the van out. We'll tell you where in the morning. And you can go check that out and help out all the Arizona military serving overseas out of state uh, or over a border somewhere uh, in a place they don't want to be for the holidays. And you guys can donate to us. Thanks to our friends at Modelo Especial, Superstar Car Wash, and Lerner and Rowe helping us out with the KUP deployments. But next Thursday is the pack ups Next Thursday is the Jeez. 11th, so we're already there. So tomorrow's the big final push, I suppose, for that one, which is great. And if you accidental Casanovas come there and start trying to have sex with our incredibly smart and they're completely aware staff. I, I'm they'll telling know. you, they'll figure you out right the second you're finishing in their hair. They will have you pegged, buddy. Wait a minute. I, I, I get a towel. Are you one of those accidental Casanovas? Have I? I've been bamboozled by a dummy. Um, that's right. I'm an idiot and an accidental Casanova. I'm sorry. Oh, you're the dumb one. Suffering from golden penis syndrome? I've got that. Call the law firm of... Dude, I have what's called golden penis syndrome and I want to cure it. (laughs) These really smart girls keep having sex with me. (laughs) It's so easy. I don't deserve such things, you see. I'm just tired of it. I'm sick of all these really smart, like really eptable women having sex with me because I'm dumb. Come on out to Malibu. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix that in a heartbeat, golden penis boy. I believe I'm afflicted with the golden penis syndrome. I'm so stupid, I don't know how to not have sex with loads and loads of hot chicks because I'm in college. Now, this is all new to all of us scientists. It's the stupidest article it's I've ever read. now on the read. spectrum. Ever read. <laughs> He's a spectrum. He's a golden penis boy. You got the Asperger's over here and the golden penis kids over here. I have an IQ of about 14. I can fool the smartest woman on the planet right into the bedroom. It's his fault, Charmer. Uh, I like ice cream and bananas and stuff. God damn it. <laughs> I'm taking my pants off. Why? Uh, we got Rock Wars coming up in just seconds. The chair should join us 
in a heartbeat. And we'll thank you in advance right now for KUP deployment. Rock Wars is next. If the younger generation doesn't get into rock, then guess what? An art form has died. You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast, brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat, ericsfamilybbq.com.